Stand by. Stand by. Yeah. Please part the waters. on the video space too because the camera, this one right here, is angled so if I move out of the way, you can also see the waters part on your screens. Guys, we're going to drop down below sea level oh, oh, to go see the sets from King Kong. Please remain seated. Let's see if you have anything on the floor of the tram right now. A purse, a backpack, your grandmother, I don't care, wake the old girl up, get her up in the inner seat, all right? Focus your cameras on the left though. Keep in mind these are the actual miniatures that were used in Peter Jackson's King Kong. All right, guys, have a seat, please. Siéntese, por favor, or somebody put aside, park it, whatever works for you. Here we go. somebody's passport. I hope your passports are in order because we're going to take you to Europe. We call it Little Europe. It could be any country in Europe we wanted to be to change countries. We change the languages on the signs. Simple but effective. Jimmy can give you a practical demonstration. Mi chiamo Jimmy Saran e tu un crossbottiga di vita. mia! Jimmy Fallon, you are already begat. Well, shall we know? Hello, ich bin Jimmy Fallon. Ja, Schnitzel. Ich glaub, we skip auf me. A painful day of filming for Jimmy, obviously, but you get the idea. Three, uh, three countries, three, uh, yeah, three countries, three languages, one set. Now, this area is almost as busy as New York Street. Recently, they did a movie here involving a couple having some relationship problems. They went to Paris to try to recapture the magic in their relationship. The couple was Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. The movie was The Muppets. That did some filming right here in New York. The area's greatest claim to fame, though, was home to some of the greatest characters ever to appear in Universal movies, the monster. 